Hi friends, how are you doing? I'm on the treadmill this morning, um, but I had to hop off um, because I don't know what happened. My computer glitched and turned off, and so now this hard drive, the external one, isn't turned back on. So I can't edit. That's all I need to do right now. I do need to comment and reply back to your comments, but Abby is still home. She hasn't been feeling good, but I'm gonna take her to school in just under an hour. Um, but I'm making my little breakfast here. I'm making a little chaffle. I'm waiting for the pan to warm up. But as I've been editing yesterday's video, I realized I did not show you my little cookie dough. Where did it go? My little cookie dough. You wanna know what's in this? Okay, Greek yogurt, protein powder. I used vanilla last time, but this time I'm gonna do peanut butter when I make it again. Cause I think it would taste better as like a, almost like a peanut butter cookie dough, like full on peanut butter flavor, like peanut butter cookies, you know what I mean? Because then you add peanut butter. So um, you add that all together and then chocolate chips. And it literally tastes like cookie dough. And it's really, really good. Oh, I just burnt my oil. <laughs> Dang it, got talking too long. All right, let me clean this up. Hang on. All right, well, we make this little waffle. I, mean, I did cheese slices this time because it's just a little bit easier. Anyway, you just take all that stuff and you mix it up. The instructions I saw said you could add a little bit of water. I actually just added a little bit more peanut butter if it's not quite liquidy enough. Um, and then I set it in the fridge for a little while. I kind of let it um, thicken up. Anyway tons of protein. I think if you ate the whole thing, it was like 45 grams of protein. And when you're needing a snack at the end of the day to get 45 grams of protein instead of sugar right before you go to bed or like an hour before you go to bed, you're going to burn some fat. We're going to burn some fat. So I am, what am I trying to do here? Oh, yes. Oh, I need more cheese. I never get enough cheese. This is just enough cheese for one. And I still have egg. Dang it. So while this cooks, I have like another minute, minute and a half. So Abby felt horrible overnight. I woke up feeling a lot better. Um, slept in, got a good breakfast. Kind of went back and laid down. Um, it's only 10, but she came into my room at six o'clock this morning. Just miserable. Anyway. She has a test at 11 and then lunch, and then she has a study session for chemistry, which she has a test on Thursday, so in two days. She's like, I have to go. She's like, I have to go. I feel a lot better. I'm just gonna go do those two classes. And then Kaylee has, Alexa off. Kaylee has the car today. Um, I believe Kaylee had her exit interview for high school, which is insane. We never had that growing up. We don't even know what that is. Ooh, that worked out really good. But I think I'm gonna need two hands. That definitely worked out really good. Look at that. Okay, now let's not mess this up again. Cheese first. And there's plenty of oil on there from the cheese. Leaked out all over the counter too, so. It's all good. We're gonna just finish off the egg. All right, there's my breakfast. I have one inside there. Also, sometimes eating with itty bitty spoon from Ikea, it's just the way to go. Look how little that is. <laughs> All right, I did not plan on going to the dollar store, um, but I took Abby to work and I was like, you know what? I haven't been to the dollar store since before Christmas. And I had seen these cups on there. They might melt in the dishwasher if I don't remember <laughs> to not wash them in the dishwasher, but it's a yogurt cup. And you can put the yogurt in there and do it like parfait style, where you can do berries, yogurt, berries, yogurt. And then the top screws off and you can put granola in here. You screw it off, set it down like that. But then it's really cool because inside the lid is a spoon. You take the spoon out and it clicks in there and rotate it around. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. Abby packs good little lunches for school. Abby and Kaylee do, and then Chelsea does, but Chelsea's not really a parfait kind of gal but maybe she could put like salad in there 
and she doesn't like to mix up her dressing. She likes to have it separate so she could put her dressing in here and her lettuce and her cucumbers in here and then like dip it. So I got two of those, one snack. I just, I only got one snack because they look really, really good. I got Reynolds Wrap. I like to go name brand with some stuff. We are plumb out of Reynolds Wrap. Then I got razors. Honestly, these are so good and they're only, what? 75 cents each <laughs> not even that not even that these ones are like my favorite one this six brand or there's another one i can't remember what it's called but i actually really like these i have another one that i've been using and it was just not that great then look at this so cute i think i'm just gonna put it in like my little trays i'm not gonna decorate for valentine's day a ton but i just thought that would look good in the little trays on my table like i think i'm gonna even go through my valentine bin and like purge because I just don't decorate for Valentine's Day anymore. Normally every about every other year, every two or three years, we go on vacation to Hawaii for midwinter break in February. And so we're just gone for like the whole week before Valentine's Day and like a few days after. And so like it just there's no point in decorating for that holiday because you're only decorating for two weeks anyway. So I just don't decorate very often. I should just like go ahead and purge half the stuff that's in that bucket. I just I don't use it anymore but I got some shampoo and conditioner another one of these and then you guys I can't figure out like my fingers I don't even want to show you it's like there's it's so bad and they're so dry right around the cuticles ow I just peeled it Ugh, that hurts see now I'm gonna have to put more neosporin on it and wrap it up again this one here just does not want to heal I will have to put neosporin on that but I've been trying to find I put Vaseline on it every day and then just kind of walk around with like oily hands but I found this Vaseline cream um, and I again I go name brand on some of this stuff for my skin it smells good but it's a cream so that I can kind of put it on like a lotion and try and get my dry hands I might actually have to take off my dip nails that little teeny tiny thing of skin is like bleeding all over my hand <laughs> my gosh I gotta find a napkin in here but I gotta figure them out I might have to take off my dip nails and like just get my fingers cured before I do them again but I really wanted nails done for my birthday this month and that doesn't leave me enough time to anyway like I said I didn't plan to go to the dollar store nor did I plan to get all that stuff but but I did but it's all useful stuff back home back to the treadmill I think or I might do like a workout I haven't quite decided but let's go I literally just got home, unpacked my stuff here, got a bag ready to go upstairs, and I sat down for just a minute to read my book. I was starting to get a little bit tired. It's like, no, 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 snap out of it. So I put my book down. I was like, I can't be tired. I have to get back on the treadmill. Abby texted me, <laughs> and she's like, I finished the test I was supposed to take, and now I'm feeling nauseous. She's like, why am I feeling nauseous? I have a cold. <laughs> So can you please come get me? I don't need to be here. I feel so sick. I literally just got home. This is what you do as a mom though. You just, you just do it. You just do it. All right, I came home and I don't really want to get on the treadmill, but I need to feel productive. So I kind of put this little shelf thing together. I've got a few more that I can work with. I know how they work. I just had to find the right size. So when you do, it slides from the front, top to the back. And you can just, it's actually quite satisfying. So I have created one of these and I'm gonna fit it onto the shelf over there. I think I'm gonna do one for the soups and the um, pineapple, just because they're the same width. But I think my other can, I don't know. I'm gonna take it over there and see. If this works out here and I get this organized a lot better, I might tackle my pantry. We shall see. All right, it's kind of become a big mess but I am making progress. It's kind of a bugger to put these together and get the right spacing. Cause if you, you move one thing, something else pops out. But I've gotten this lined up so far. Cannot stack them too deep, which is kind of unfortunate. But um, if I had made these shelves ahead of time or whatever, I would have made it so I can stack two of these on top of each other. We, we have what we have to work with. It is done. <laughs> Does not look so pretty. And there's a lot more open space on this shelf. I was able to move a whole little chunk of stuff from that corner, free up all this space. All the stuff that was in that box is just laying in here. Probably take them inside eventually when I do the pantry. Who knew I'd be doing more out here than I would the pantry, but you know. And all of my cans fit in here, except for three. 
three cans in here. So I'm gonna use those ones first or whatever. I'll use three and then I will filter this. It is bugging me that like some of these are separated. Like the OCD in me is kind of bothered by that, but like, I don't know. I don't know how much I care. There's five in there. I don't know. All right, the OCD in me couldn't handle it. There's four cans of the chicken broth here. One can of pineapple. I'm actually just gonna take that inside, let the kids eat that as a snack. And then I've got the rest of the pineapples right here. One right here. It's kind of bugging me, but I can't figure out any other way to work it. And then all the um, olives are here, all the chicken broth, and then diced potatoes, then diced tomatoes. And look at this cute little slot right here for the tuna. I didn't think I'd be able to do a tiny one small enough for the tuna, but it does work. So I love that little slot right there. And then we have green beans right here. So, oh, and there's extra olives back in there. You can't even see that. Okay. I have three left, which will give me two slots to put cans. And I've got a bunch of these little connectors. So we're gonna see if I can do anything in the pantry, but I'm not tearing the whole pantry apart. I'm too tired for that now. All right, this is the state of the pantry. I'm probably going to dive in and do more than I say I'm going to do, but it's driving me crazy. So I'm already sweaty and gross and I want to shower and be done with this all. Look, you know I don't do boxes of cereal in here. Oh look, we do two of the same kind of cereal. And guess what? All of these ones have not been eaten yet, but they're old. So I'm actually gonna throw those out, not the goldfish, but I'm gonna throw those out. I need to convince someone to make Rice Krispie treats with those. I have marshmallows. I have so many marshmallows. I did not make my fudge for Christmas, so I have so many. I'm not gonna bother with the snack buckets right now. Mainly gonna try and work on this little area and, and if there's any cans down there, and then the cereal. Drive me crazy. Okay, I'm gonna preface what I'm about to show you with, it is not as easy as it looks to put these dang little, like, rolly can holder thingies together. Abby can attest to me, and the cuss words that I probably, I, have, I haven't sworn, have I? Huh? Have I been swearing? No, no cuss words came out of my mouth, but there was a lot of no, close calls, correct? Yes, Pandora exploded all over my counter, but we are so close. Let me show you what I've got so far. These dang things, I had it all set up and I went to put it in here and it all fell apart. Cans went everywhere. They're not in any rhyme or reason because I just have random things in here. There's one can of chili, four cans of olives, three cans of, what do you call that, soup. Um, we have chicken noodle soup, we have cream of chicken soup, and we have one can of pineapple in there. So it is what it is, but it's tucked away, but you can access it, and I love it. So then I have a bucket of random jars of stuff, pasta sauces, that kind of thing. Then I have the snack stuff. I would love to just be able to stack these, but these are not stackable. So I have those right there. I am thinking I'm gonna do another snack bucket here or kind of shift everything down and have, I want the snacks all in one thing. Like I kind of want to move that snack bucket there, but maybe I can get, maybe I'll just do this. And then I can get another bucket in here and have all of this snacks. Then I have my cereals all right here, all the pastas right here. Abby, I was able to find um, two boxes of spaghetti noodles. And then I have fettuccine right there. What did you want? Not that, <laughs> like penne? You want penne noodles? Okay, I will stock up on that kind of stuff at the store later. I do have some extra like um, egg noodles in there and lasagna noodles, but I do have all that lined up. I have, it doesn't look like it's cleaned up or whatever, but it is. I know everything that's up there and that's fine. So now I need to find a place for this stuff and this stuff here did not fit into the can rotation, but I do have a whole bunch of empty bins now that I haven't filled up yet as snack options. I might actually just leave that on the counter. Let the kids just finish that and that. And that looks like it's not from this year. And these guys. So I've got to figure out. Oh, and look, I have a big bucket of these stupid veggie straws and I'm sick of the bag being opened. So I put them all in here. So I have two things of snacks, goldfish and the veggie straws, two things of cereal. Um, that's just the leftover. I haven't dumped that in there. All right, we're making progress here. Okay, you ready to see the after? Oh, <laughs> it looks so good. Okay, we're gonna start at the bottom. We got our cans. We got miscellaneous stuff that just is like odd shapes in these two buckets. There is room for a little something in between, but I'm not gonna fill space if I don't have anything to. The next shelf up is snacks. We are going to eat the rest of these. 
before I will let them open up another box bag package of snacks. Jason is off duty from eating these mangoes. <laughs> He cannot have those right now. Also the tortilla chips we can eat out of the bag, but the veggie straws need to come from here. So I've kind of tucked those back in the corner there. Then we have Ashley's fruit cups, her veggie pouches, Jason's think bars, and regular granola bars. The next row up is all of our protein powders, Jason's collagen. He has like this C4 sport workout stuff when he does a workout and my PB fit. It's all in this corner. If I happen to get some more stuff, I can put it here. I do need to get a chocolate powder refill. This one is chocolate back here, but it's like kind of down to there. And actually we could probably put his liquid, liquid IV. Um, I could probably get that from the other cupboard and put it in here. That would actually be a good idea. And then up here we have all our pastas and rices and then excess in here. This is the whole bag full of marshmallows. You think I'm joking, but I'm not. I didn't make fudge for Christmas. So that is all marshmallows. We were also, also supposed to make Rice Krispie treats and we didn't. Up here, it is just extra stuff and bulky stuff, chocolate chips. I put the pretzels into this container from the original container. I'm um, actually, I could probably put that down here, try and get them to eat that. And I don't think I want it down on the snack shelf. I'll just put it here because it like matches that container. This is granola right here. We'll use the rest of that and then I will buy a new one and fill that one back up. We have some hot cocoa powder, cornmeal, oatmeal, and chocolate chips, <laughs> crouton. And this is, it just needs to be shut something is getting in the way of getting it shut, but I'm done, I'm over it. I don't even care anymore. It's done and I'm ready to shower. I have swept the floor. I'm gonna have Chelsea mop in place of me sweeping. This is the aftermath. This is all I have left. I am gonna leave these on the counter. Let the kids nibble. They're gonna finish these Cheerios before they get into the other buckets. Eat these marshmallows. They'll be gone. I guarantee you they'll be gone. I need to wipe this down later tonight. We need to hand wash these guys. Actually, actually likes to hand wash stuff when she cleans out the sink. She fills it up with soapy water, hand washes stuff, scrubs the sink clean, and then we're good to go. I will not eat these little cherries or these artichoke hearts. My father-in-law got them for us and I, I, don't, I don't know what to make with them. I'm not a good cook, you guys. I'm just not a good cook. And we only have two buckets and two little stands left over from like the storage supplies. So that's pretty good. So I, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I might try and go get the footage downloaded really quick and just see how long this video is. I'm done. I am so done. I have two hours, not even two hours, until I have to do carpool to Ashley's birthday party with her gift right here, which I actually need to go get the tissue paper for that. And Chelsea has an activity for church. And that's my the rest of my night. Maybe I'll just get you Jason's reaction. I haven't told him that I've done this. I'm sorry, I, I love to like look at this kind of stuff after it's been done. I'll get his reaction. He has no idea I've done this. So I'll add that right at the end. And then I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys here. Where is your space in your house that you're like, oh, I really don't want to, but it's driving me crazy. Leave a comment down below where that space is. It's January. It's time to declutter and clean and make everything fresh. So let me know where you guys are um, working on next or what you need to work on next. Maybe it'll give me an idea of what I need to do. I need to do our under the stairs storage area. We can't even like put the vacuum away in it. It's that bad. So take care you guys and we'll see you guys next time. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.